Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here from Serpent X Tech, and in this video I want to share with you how I was able to fix my Bitaxe. It became corrupted, I guess a power outage or something happened, maybe a brownout, and the device would, would kick on, the fan would spin, but I wasn't getting any output, and it seemed it corrupted in that brownout or power outage, it corrupted the Bitaxe. So I needed to get it working, and I have this Bitaxe connected right off to the side of my bed, um and i like to just keep an eye on things and you can see that the screen here was just not showing anything it just it would power on the fan would spin but nothing would ever happen now it is in the s9 case uh 3d printed case that i got from decentral if you want to purchase a bit axe i'll have it linked down in the description but no matter what i did it would not work or come back on even with the device taken out of the box and directly plugged into my computer via micro usb when I go to try to read from it, because you choose a COM port to connect to the device, it would not read it. And it would not even accept a flash or a erase flash option. So I was talking with the uh, people over at the central, and we tried a couple things. The best way that I found to fix this was to use the flasher.bitronics.store. And what I did is I actually went to the nerd miner. I flashed the bit axe with the nerd miner firmware right? Because it is an ES, uh, ESP32 chip that's on it. And I flashed it to the nerd miner, even though I knew it wouldn't work. But just to get it to read the ROM, just to get it to read the, the file, just so that way I can come to the Bitax flasher. And you can see here that, you know, flasher.bitronics.store does have the Bitax uh, firmware in here, um, or the Nerdax firmware in here. But the Bitax firmware still says under construction on this page. So I had this one, which is I got through the GitHub, right? And I'll link everything down below. But wantclue.github.io forward slash bitax dash web dash flasher. And so by going here, I was able to select the bitax ultra version 204, or you could choose the all bitax just update most recent version. And I was able to now get the device to actually flash and install the appropriate bitax firmware. So in summary, because the device had a brownout and the flash or the files became corrupted, and because it is uh, ESP32 chip with the uh, BM1368 chip, like your Bitax might have the 1366 or the 1368 chip, the basically the chip found on the ASIC, like the S19 XPs or whatnot, um, because it's using the ESP32, I flashed it to the Nerd Miner firmware first just to get it to communicate with the computer. And then I was able to go to this website, the Bitax uh, web installer, and I flashed it using the 204 version. But again, you can use either one. Just try to get the device to connect. And when you, sh when you actually plug it into your computer, you'll see a window pop up and it would say COM port 7, COM port 6, 5, whatever. You select the device and then you're able to flash it and get your device back up and running. So if you have a corrupted Bitax, that is the way I found to get it working. Because no matter what I did, before I even tried to flash the, the NerdMiner firmware, I, it would not accept. It would not connect. It would flash and then crash halfway through or it would not detect at all. So NerdMiner firmware first. It's going to be the wrong firmware. I understand that. But it's just going to get the device to show up, right? The ESP32 chip to communicate with the computer and then flash it to the BitX uh, for the one you have, whether you have the Ultra or the Supra, so on and so forth. I already knew off rip, mine came, because it was brand new, mine came with the 204, or right right around the 204. So I knew it wasn't the 401. So I have the Ultra, not the Supra. And so that that's the reason why mine works. So just use the one that works for your board. Uh, hopefully you remember the firmware you had on yours prior to it being corrupted. Uh, but I hope this video helped you out in some form or fashion. But I really like these guys. And uh, I got the Nerdax, I got the Bitax, I got Nerd Miners, I got the Avalon Nano 3, I got the Apollo BTC or the Apollo 1 from Futurebit, and I hope to get the Apollo 2 soon. I love playing around with these devices, and I hope you do too as well. But that's going to do it for today's video, so do me a favor on the way out. Hit that like button, make sure to get subscribed, hit the notification button to stay up to date, as well as check out additional links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And good luck fixing your corrupted bid acts. Take care. I'll catch you next one.